All right, so number 14. Where shall we go next? I've got all this crap to do here. That stuff is somewhat higher level, though. I think it might be time just to move on with the storyline. I have plenty of XP. Don't get that yet. These I never use. You, like, get to target different things. It is kind of neat. The axle continuously swing around and stun things, but I never use it. It never seems useful. I almost never do the heavy attack um, counter. I do the other one because it sends them knocked back instead of knocked up in the air. This one is useful. Uh, I just don't tend to use it too often. But we can do this. Finish off the kids' skills. This is another thing that I never use either. I found it useful like once in the game and that's at the very beginning and never again. So it's not really worth the the 500 experience. The only time it's useful if something's not facing you and you can hit your axe button once, hold it down and you can get a good amount of stun off on them. That's really the only time it's useful. I'll grab it and uh, I'll try to show that off at some point. So if you do like a precision axe throw to something in the face, it'll, to a normal Draugr, it's the only thing it's really useful for is on those. It'll spin it around and then you can do that. What I'm going to do is upgrade the, I already did that, upgrade this then. Because those take a lot of XP to upgrade. Then that, that's 13,000, don't have enough. So, storyline stuff, I guess. Um, I want to go this way. I don't know how many times I've killed that seagull accidentally. And then accidentally pulling out the axe and swinging it. Or throwing it. And then watching the seagull disappear into a puff of feathers. Oh yes! Seeking revenge on Skadi the Huntress, Odin spread rumors that Aesir were played by an eagle. Odin knew that Skadi Still on this. not resist the temptation to This is why I let it stop, area. because it's ridiculous how long it takes. Skadi tracked the eagle as it flew where she alone could glide, and loosed an arrow from her unerring bow. When she collected her quarry, she found no eagle at all, but her own father. Poor Theotzi, slain by his own daughter. She was overcome with grief and shame, for there is nothing nature so reviles as a child who kills their parent. Skadi succumbed to her fate as winter's blanket fell, holding her father as the mountain held her in an embrace to last eternity. Well, that was sad. Aye. There aren't many happy endings for the giants, I'm afraid. Uh, that troll will come to life at some point, just not until later.
don't think there's any real reason to go up here. What tower is this one? Don't know what's up here. Can't remember. Yeah, but that troll you have to come back and kill uh, later on to get the um, kill all the trolls little thing. Oh, I've already done this. Another name. Air. Another Valkyrie. That's no coincidence. But who'd have etched them on Tears Braziers? That's another actual quest line, lighting all the braziers. In order to light them all, you need to have the four Muspelheim uh, realm runes, and then you need the four Niflheim ones. Boy. Yes, sir. This leads to the Council of Valkyries. There's no real reason to go there right now. Oh, that's a side area I can do. This is one of the other dragons. Although, I think technically I'm not supposed to be here until later. Just because of that uh, Hell's Bramble right there. Suggesting that this is a... spot to come back to. Even though I can technically get through here. Like that realm tear I know dumps a bunch of hellwalkers on me. stuff is in here, but let's go do it. Ah, Fafnir. I always wondered what became a Wait, Depending on their Fafnir? level, I might come back Fafnir? to when it's Fafnir? more appropriate. The very one. But Sindri said he was a dwarf. He was. And now he's a dragon. Funny how life works, isn't it? He's chained up. Perhaps we should keep an eye out for binding strength oh. to free the poor bastard. Oh. Now, lads. I was They're very low level. So they're not bad level-wise. At least this first part. They're four going into five. How did your friend become a dragon, Mimir? Oh, he's no friend of mine. Throat was a constant source of annoyance amongst Aesir and Vanir alike. Trust the recently liberated brother. No one deserves to be held captive like this. It's even a greedy little dwarf come dragon. <laughs> Never answered the boy's question, Head. How did this dwarf become a dragon? 
I don't know for certain, though I'd wager his penchant for stealing magical artifacts had something to do with it. Must have stolen a trinket from the wrong Banier goddess. So this one's not too bad, they're four and five so far. As long as I don't hit five and six, I'm you're fine coming in here at this point. Well, there it is. Got me. So I dodged. Nothing happened. Oh, I love it when that happens. That was super obvious it was coming. being hit by uh, grabbing him. You see the kid's reaction to that? <laughs> I mean, that is a brutal way. But still. Time to set him free. Think he'll remember you? I don't know, lad. A lot's changed since we lost cross paths. I had legs. I have a theory that he's going to have legs again. So this is, uh the shitty part of this and it's shitty because it's revenants yeah they're level 5 which means that will hit 6 that was very much on purpose Trying to get them so they get hit by the dragon's breath shit is uh, one of the main things I try to do with them. Alright, Revenant's down. The rest of this is cake. Well, maybe not cake, but...
Yeah, getting the Revenant in the Dragon's Breath is great. It does a lot of damage, stuns it for a long time. Not always easy to lure it there. I got lucky that it just went there, which is why I chased after it. It won't shoot Lightning Breath at them, but if you go down that little pathway, he will. So, that uh, Shattered Gauntlet of Ages that I picked up, freeing these dragons is one of the things you need to do in order to upgrade it. One of the upgrade materials that's necessary is called the uh, Dragon's Tear. And there are four of them in the game. There are three chain dragons you have to free. Uh, the th third dragon to free you don't get until later on in the story. It's another favor for Brock and Sindri. So those levels will let my cooldown come back for this. And then I'm going to uh, to do that. I'm also going to call this video after I try this, just to uh, to wrap up this segment in a, an entire thing, and then I'll move on to uh, the next part. This one's not terrible, because you can off often knock them right the fuck off. Yeah, they're level 6. So this is... doable. Put not easy. The other guy I can throw my axe at. This one I can't use the axe on. And get the fuck out of the area. He can block it, but I can at least hurt him with it. Oh. Oh. Not what I wanted to do. Ah. Oh. Fuck a duck. I didn't think that was coming my way. So yeah, yeah, those are tougher than tougher than I am right now. And you're honestly supposed to use a different weapon. Like what weapon? You get another weapon. I just haven't been pushing the story forward to get said weapon. So Honestly, story-wise, we're only maybe halfway through. I've done a lot of the side stuff already. So I'm going to skip that, and I'll come back for that now. Lay out. We'll come back for that later. I just heard... A raven? No, I heard just a regular... Oh, I do hear a raven. Son of a bitch. There it is. They make a very specific noise. And as I mentioned in some of the other videos, I can only classify it as crystalline. 
Anyway, so that's going to be the end of this video. What the hell is that place called? Stone Falls? I'm just going to say freeing Fafnir. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one in a couple of minutes.